and then he puts his hand inside the bowl and sort of sees and and seizes up. I like it how you yeah. really push the hand kind of through. Yeah. It's almost like there's an envelope it goes through. I'm John Lachlan Stewart. I'm directing The Color of Life and Miss Caitlin's Grade Threes prepare for the inevitable at the Edmonton Fringe this year. The Color of Life is a piece Thomas developed about two kids who basically live in the street. They meet each other and start going on these thrill missions of like major drug intake, taking drugs and jumping off buildings and daring each, uh, each other further and further. And it turns into a dare where these two promise to kill each other. So it's this intense sort of wild uh, drug-induced ride, kind of like a mix of train spotting and fight club. He lunges, I brace, I swing my punchy punch, he kicks. <laughs> Elena Bellier's piece, Miss Caitlin, is the audience gets to play grade three students and they have name tag and they come in and the character is a teacher teaching her grade three class to prepare for school shootings because she's going kind of a little, a little bonkers and she's panicking. Oh, I don't deserve this, cried the younger beaver. Why me? Both of these really wonderful artists are graduates from uh, L'Ecole Nationale de Théâtre, which is in Montreal, and we all graduated from there. I came as a director, Elena as a writer, and Thomas as an actor. So we really, we all come from Edmonton, and we worked there together at the school, and coming out of school, we wanted to do these pieces together. I wanted somebody who I felt was going to push me as an actor, and so, and that, that's something that John has definitely been doing. So, um, but also he, he just has a really good sense of play. Like he uh, is really game for, um, you know, like if we're in rehearsal and something screws up and it winds up being way funnier, then he's, he's so down for like, oh my God, yeah, yes, let's do that thing. Um, which uh, is, is really fun. It's a, of a huge value for a director to help an actor not feel self-conscious. And I think John has, uh, really helped me not feel self-conscious. I could come into the room with a lot of ideas and he would be able to listen and suss out what he thought was the more important things, kind of uh, draw the thread out of what I was saying. One of the things these stories both have in common is, is <laughs> they go to really, really super dark places and come out with a sense of kind of love and hope in the end of them. Both shows make you come out with some goosebumps going on and a little more heightened awareness of some of the scary stuff in the world but you, I think, feeling a bit better about it. Uh, let's go from, they ask me if I've done MDMA, I haven't. Okay. Okay.